and welcome, Rocket League fans. We are here. We are live. Little Nace, Le Nace Star League action coming at you. I'm FBI Tugbub. I'm here with Powder. Powder, how are we doing? Yeah, well, I am fantastic tonight. We got a couple weeks off, you know, with the holiday in between. So it's been a while since we've seen some Rocket League action, but we have plenty of exciting teams tonight to make up for that. Plenty of them. Plenty of them. And exactly four different matches on schedule. Nice tasty one up here front first. That is Butler University taking on Northwoods University. Well, North Carolina Bison Green after that. Or NC Bison Green, excuse me. And that's the RU. That is Rochester going up against Nichols in the match number two. Match number three, uh, Powder? U University of Wisconsin Stout versus Oklahoma City University. A couple teams we've actually gotten to see before, but been a little bit of time. Excited to see how they come out in this season. Followed up by Kennesaw State University and Lindenwood Esports to wrap up the night. Kennesaw, another tough foe that we got to see late in the season, last season, and we're still getting to see these teams for the first time in the spring, and I'm excited to see how they've improved. Very excited to see that one as well here, Powder. What kind of Take a look at that on the day, though. Right now, Butler University, Northridge University, both teams with positive win-loss records on the season. This is week five, of course. Took a took a week off there, so these teams are going to be playing their fourth match here on the day. Taking a look at their rosters here, Powder. Yeah, Kai Morales and Craig coming out for Butler and the classic Northwood roster of Lion, Blaze, Buddy, and Hockey. The same roster that won CRL World and the same roster that won NACE last fall. Coming back tonight to try to stretch themselves to a 4-0 season start. And I got to be honest, if we're going off of history, it's it's kind of expected at this point. And if you use the past to predict the future, yes, this is, uh, d if we're talking predictions, Northwoods University has the skills to pay the bills. They have proved it time and time again, uh, very, very recently, and three times up to this point. Butler University, a little bit of an underdog story, but all that means, Powder, is they have just so much more to play for. Right, there's a lot for them to try to fight for tonight, and even last season when we saw Northwood in the regular season, we saw a team go against them that, let's be honest, was not up to their skill level. They were pretty average for nice standards, but nothing compared to Northwood, and they really took it to them. I want to say we even saw an overtime in that match. It was a tough fight for Northwood. They still got through it. They still got a 3-0 sweep. But this team, if they're not careful, teams are learning to play against them because of how much Northwood plays. There's a lot of video out there of Northwood playing, and teams can use that to their advantage to try to take down the big dogs. A lot of VOD review there to be had, yes, but play on the day. That is Rocket League. We'll see how these two teams fare coming on into this one. Standard rules and whatnot, 3v3, best of five series, five minute games, everything else a whole wholly standard coming up on into this one. Real quick before we start this one off, I'm going to give a shout out to the production staff. There's Mikey White T and that's Ferme here on the day, making our jobs as casters just so much easier and we do appreciate that. Butler on the left side in the blue, Northwoods, right? in the orange. Buddy Hockey, Lion Blaze, rig up here initially, cross mid pitch as Kai looking to pick this one up. What I'm looking for from Butler is a hot start from them. If they can get a quick start and a goal, put Northwood on the back foot, they really do have a great shot at getting more forward and being able to hold on to that lead. However, if they give up the first goal to Northwood, I really think that momentum is going to continue on and maybe they can find it. However, Hockey is there in time. Kai now, low dribble, can't get it past Buddy. I do like the offense to start from Butler, but they just got to take advantage of it. Offensive pressure, offensive pressure. As we know, pressure creates diamonds. Let's see if that is spun here and if Alchemy comes true. I guess Alchemy is gold. We'll, we'll, we'll go with it. Gold diamonds. Yeah, close enough. Lion play is a little hit over here as Kai Morales is going to try and pick this one up and out. Hockey. This little interrupter right there. Now Morales, out as high as they get, just transports this one on over to the left side, back and forth. Nice little pass on the Buddy. And just like that, Butler University in the defensive stance. Northwood early looking for the passing place to one another. Whoa. That time, a little bit of a miscommunication from them. Now Buddy's forced to race all the way back. Uh, He's not going to get there. Morales starts off the scoring for Butler. Wow. So, Ruben right here. They drew first blood. I am talking about Butler University. It's kind of a low and slow roller right there. Going to make it all the way. Aki, buddy, you're going to be getting a front row seat to this one minute and 11 second goal here early. Butler want to keep this uh, up. They get the advantage off the kickoff too. However, here comes Hockey. Shot high, rebound cannot be found. Butler putting up a good defensive stand early. They just want to continue that offense and maybe catch Northwood lacking a little bit again on defense. Catching him lacking. Already done it once right here. We'll see how this one goes. Advantage Butler. 
so frequent. Teams to strike first, go forth to maintain leads. There's still plenty of Rocket League left. Nice hit. Morale is down bottom, though. Gonna be able to play this one, field it, and get plenty of boost with it. Try and pass this one off to Kai. Kai does take a little bit off the top and sends us rightwards. Krig, same place. So Butler really just succeeds in putting the ball in the same exact place three times. Hey, they're starting to go a little bit too repetitive right now, and Northwood's figuring it out. They're getting the stops. Now here's a little bit of aerial play, maybe trying to change things up. Lion Blaze caught awkward, but Krig can't get the challenge. But he's able to avoid one bump, can't get the pass in the midfield, so Morales is able to get a clear, but he can only give it away to Hockey. Beat out from Kai, gets the follow-up. Lion Blaze, though, the rotation in. Ooh. Over one, Hockey for the redirect, looking for a teammate in the air. His buddy coming in, pass to Lion Blaze, shot in the middle, cut off by Kai. Butler defense holds strong once again. Yes, they do. And let me know, Pow, the last time you know of a Northwood squad that at a halftime had no players with triple digit scores. Uh, 88, the highest as of right now. Only a couple of shots attempted. Back to the middle right now, but Butler going to be on the defense. Morales meets Lion Blaze there, and this kind of just ends up in the middle. A total whiff from Krig, and that's going to set up the first Northwood shot. Hockey going to take advantage of that one every single day when they're just teed up like that. 111 kilometers per hour. This is something that you have to avoid if you are a butler. You cannot make a simple mistake like that. It is just a small whiff, but you can't, or you keep your last man then awkward from the miss. He can't catch up to the shot. Northwood ties it up, certain to take advantage of every mistake like that. Good pass though, buddy, able to catch up. And now Kai with an opportunity to keep the offense going. A little bit of defense cleared out. Most mm -hmm. plays right into buddy's hands though. There's out to the other side. But that was a uh, goal for Northwoods. It was immediately preceded by that demo. Butler tries something right there, but doesn't really have the position to pick this one up and make a play out of it. Kai now beating it down against Buddy, and Buddy's going to win this one. Lots of boost to be spoken of right off the wall. Now center. There's a shot. Krig on one. Kai on the other. And a 1v3 for just a couple of seconds here, Powder. I love the aggression that Butler's bringing out. It's opening up space for them, Ooh. and they're finding shots and almost finding a second goal from it. But they have to get back quickly. Kai, last one back, gets it off the backboard into open space and gets the follow-up ever so important. Doesn't stop Northwood from getting back onto offense, but it slows them down a little longer. Now Morales looking for the double. Gets there in time, wow. but the shot is wide. Hockey on the back wall had a rare miss. Couldn't take advantage of it. And it's a counterattack with Timberwolves. What was that you were talking about overtime there, Powder, earlier? Overtime? We're staring on the barrel of it 60 seconds away from it. As of right now, Morales with a really, really weird play right there. Loses control. Lion Blaze will take those all day long. Kai is the last player back. Uses the last little bit of boost. A bit of a double commit right there, and that might actually come into play right here. Now a big hit off to the left side. This gets aerial with it, and all the members of Butler have time to respawn, regroup, and get back onto the defense! Buddy almost does everything in a bag of chips themselves. If you want some the done powder, you gotta do it yourself, buddy. Encapsulates that motto. Butler withstands the pressure from Northwood. Now Northwood's starting to get a little more aggressive, finding demolitions. The bump is on. Morale still gets the save. Aki trying to keep the offense on, buddy, on a quick turn. Kai winning out the challenge. Can't actually, he does win out the second. Morales is waiting in the midfield. Double commit though from Butler might slow them down. And they find one of the final seconds, dropping it down to Morales again. Off the ceiling, Kai keeping it down, but Hockey with the save. Risky to go for it. Looking for the coast to coast. However, Ooh, it does okay. fall. We see a game one overtime. It'll be 2-1. Which team will win? I don't know at this point. We had predictions earlier. That time is over. Kai across the middle. Plenty of boost to work with. Defensive block back out. Morales tries to take this one off, and now it's Krig on the respawn. Easily positioned as well, flipping backward, and Hockey takes a demo on the way. Big boost, now can, escorting this one in until Kai stops this one mid-pitch. Morales, again, a lot of boost. There's two, looking for the third! Escorts it all the way in, and Butler has done it in game number one. Morales with the solo play, and I'll be honest, I don't know if Lion Blaze fully respected that. He did not go up right away. He made the turn, but made the mistake of waiting too long and Butler takes advantage and takes an important and huge game one victory.
Yeah, seriously. Seriously, talk about putting a foot forward, taking a look at the at the numbers, the numbers, Mason. Even though Northwoods had, what is that, 10 total shots attempted versus 7 on the other side, this is generally indicative of like a big time of possession advantage for the side of Northwoods, but they ultimately don't even turn it into anything. Five minutes and, what was that, about 45 seconds or, or so right there, going to be enough for Butler to take this uh, this first. Like, again, they drew first blood. They took they scored first, pushed it to overtime, kept up the pressure, and spun this into gold. Alchemy. Alchemy. Yeah, perfection there from Butler in the end. I mean, like I said at the beginning, they needed that first goal to give themselves the momentum because later on they made the mistake and they gave Butler, or gave Northwood, excuse me, a free goal. But they take advantage in overtime. They get the solo play in and take a huge game one victory. Now it's just about maintaining that composure, maintaining that momentum, and still taking it to Northwood. You can't let your foot off the gas. You got to keep it going now and try to push yourselves into games two and three. Yeah, I mean, uh, looking at a, at a Naystar League last season, uh, I, I think it was only, I don't have the numbers directly in front of me, but I think it was only a handful of games that Northwood's even dropped throughout their, their litany of victories right there. Most of them 3-0 fashion, of course. So, uh, yeah, maybe something a little bit different post-break. Maybe Butler University, I, I believe that's the Bulldogs, the Butler Bulldogs, by the mm -hmm. way, out of Indianapolis here, come in and swinging in game one and really, really puts a solid foot forward right here. We'll see how this one goes. Game two starting right now here, Powder. No subs, no need for them. And Northwood in unfamiliar territory, at least in Nace. This is their first game loss of the season. They had swept mm -hmm. their previous three opponents. And for Butler, you know, I'll be surprised that I, it, it, I, I'll be honest that I'm surprised to see them come out with a victory like that it, as they got completely swept against a slightly weaker opponent in Grand Valley State Blue. Still an yeah. amazing opponent in GBSU, but just not as good as Northwood. And here they come out, game one, overtime victory. With the offense uh, at the beginning of game two, too much. Hockey gets the first goal. This, and it's so surprising to me. You, you admitted to being surprised a little bit earlier. I'll be surprised here within the game. Kai and the rest of Butler has been playing some really stout defense thus far. Uh, 29 seconds, relatively early a score for a game that just went three total scores into overtime as well. Uh, wait, well, whatever it was. Whatever it was, Northwoods figured it out at halftime. Now it takes a lead themselves. They're looking for the offense right off kickoff again, but a pinch back. Buddy isn't going to get there. And Kai catching the defense wow. off guard. That is the second time Northwoods given up a goal like this. That, so that was what a... Uh... <laughs> A 10-second lead there purchased for Northwoods, perhaps the one of the quickest, definitely the cheapest, because it just gets refunded a couple seconds later. 41 seconds burned off of this clock. No lead change here. 0, 0 1, 1, 10, 10, doesn't matter. Score difference is the same. Off into the corner as Butler looks to break out. They've done a great job of handling the pressure from Northwood up to this point. Only two goals given up the seven minutes or so of gameplay we've seen they're looking for more offense as kai waiting patiently smart decision he'll look for a pass off the back wall morale's coming in Whoa. dangerous play back from the northwood defense doesn't necessarily cost them however it does cost them in pressure morale is putting it on even further challenges buddy on the sidewall can't get there kai shot on line blaze quickly enough to it breaks pressure at least for a few seconds butler looks to regroup Regroup, they must. They gotta get something going here on the offense. The Northwood squad generally used to just playing from ahead. Hockey off the top gets nothing done. Buddy down bottom as Lion Blaze takes a demo right there. Now the entirety of Butler comes back. This is what we talk about all the time. You gotta turn demos into something. Otherwise, you're just giving an opponent good defensive positioning and what, 33 boost? Yeah, great start here is Lion Blaze though off the crossbar and in gets the perfect angle and Northwood regains their lead yeah I have to wonder how much of these are going to be purchased off of just perfect angles like that not that Lion Blaze didn't earn that whatsoever but a trio of Butler players pointed with noses towards their goal is simply not something we have seen in their defensive side thus far back to it we go last time this lead was dissolved in 10 seconds Oh, they're looking to get right back to that as they put pressure on. Lion Blaze there to break it up. He carries it forward up over Kai. Gets a slight touch on it. Morales, though, to bang it out the other way. Aki, not what he needs. Morales back forward. Can't find a teammate, only giving away possession now. So is Buddy, though. Shot on oh, left side. Oh, oh, oh. The placement is there. Butler doing an excellent job of picking apart the defense today. 
Wow, Butler, how embarrassing. It took you longer than 10 seconds to dissolve this lead again. <laughs> About 30 seconds on this one, but that's going to be, what, like 60-something miles per hour, 102 kilometers. So, uh, nine seconds away from halftime, we are looking at a pretty similar situation as last time, as uh, Butler University has done everything they need to do to come back, turn this score difference into zero again. Right at halftime, too. Buddy caught awkward. The Northwood defense is not what we typically see. You know, Northwood is typically known for their offense, but right now they are finding themselves on defense too often. However, the offense comes wow. in quick spurts like that. Aki, a long field banger, regains the lead one more time. Yep, so back and forth we go. Where we stop, I don't even pretend to know here, Colin. This is uh, literally... Northwood's first, Butler second, Northwood third, Butler fourth, Northwood's fifth. Okay, far and away the highest scoring game, uh, uh, especially from what we anticipated off of a game one that went to OT with only three total. Obviously much higher than that, basically half a Rocket League game to go. A lot of offensive pressure, a little one-two right here for the defensive. That's a big clear, and now offensive is soon for Northwoods. Ooh, Butler got a little aggressive there. Craig doesn't quite cost them as Kai's able to clean it up. Push forward over to Buddy. We'll keep the pressure on. Back to hockey. The passing play starting to work out favorably Ooh. for Northwood. They pick them apart and take their lead to two. Yeah, so I think this is a Northwood squad. They just kind of have learned the value of passing all the way through here. Uh, Butler University, I, I, I guess the difference, you know, in like American football would be like man coverage versus own coverage. And it kind of seems like they're just picking up uh, single offenders across the middle and not paying so much attention as to where this ball can get past. Northwoods has definitely taken advantage of that in the past two goals. Now Butler needs to get back to it quickly. They need two with just over 90 seconds left and Northwood mounting the offensive pressure more and more often. Demolitions might help them though. That helped them in game one to open up space. However, they can't get them quick enough. Northwood getting back on offense quick. Shot a little bit too weak. Morales able to get there, even space as well. And not mm. fake him out. Buddy on the quick turn will keep the offense on even longer. Loses the challenge, but hockey there to clean it up. Brutal. Craig didn't see it coming. Lead three for Northwood. Yeah, it draws circles on this pitch right now. As this ball is hitting, coming in the court to the ground, like literally everybody is rotating. Kai's flying off to the left side. Craig is rotating onto the right. Gets nothing more than a front row seat to that one. And uh, you can guarantee weight in the wings, blood in the water like sharks were the Northwoods members just waiting to clean that one up. If that Northwoods player actually didn't go ahead forth and hit that. Kai, the last player back. That's going to be good for right now. But I'm going to say game two is probably over with. Uh, three scores, 60 seconds. Colin? Yeah, this one's not looking too good. Morales can't find the double. That one really does about seal it. Butler cannot get back to it quickly. And right now for Butler, they need to find a way to shut down hockey specifically. He has five of the six total goals that Northwood has had in this series. He has oh, been wow. an offensive menace for the Timberwolves. And if they do not shut him down, as now Buddy finally oh gets his name on the scoring sheet, yeah, his first go. goal of the series. So spreading the love from Northwood, Butler needs to find a way to stop it. Yeah, tripling up in scores, Northwood. Doubling up in shots attempted is Northwood. Hockey with six, Butler only with five total. Ross Kai rallies Craig. Crazy stuff right here. Game two gonna be over with. Seems like Northwood's figured out exactly what it is they wanted to do in that halftime period. A little bit earlier, and it is paying off in spades thus far. A backwards hit from hockey, skating backwards right here. Yeah, I think Northwood's gotten back to their usual confidence selves. It might have taken game one to get them a little bit warmed up, which is something you don't typically see from Northwood. They're usually there from the get-go. Not today, lost in game one, but game two is going to be an easy victory for them. It's going to be up to Butler now to take their time out in this one-minute break in between games, find a way to get past but or get past Northwood mm -hmm. as they finally got a ripper of a shot the line blaze got up to it looking to end the game on a banger can't do it Northwood though for the powerful game two victory yeah so it was a score difference of one in overtime there in game number one game two a little bit different a six to two right here yeah and that's uh yeah and, and where I quoted it last time Northwood just put up another attempted shot right there 11 total for them versus six on the other side for Butler I gotta say good on them for not like giving that one up right still trying mm -hmm. that until the very very last second but a tied series when we return very short break folks 
And we are back. Short break it was indeed because we keep our promises here at the Nays Star League. FBI Tugboat here with my man Powder. Powder, we are staring on the barrel. Tied series right here. Butler University in Northwoods after Butler struck first in game one. Right, the start was not at all what we expected. Butler came out strong. They opened up space on Northwood's defense and took an overtime victory. Game two, a little more of what we did expect. Northwood mm -hmm. with a very, very convincing 6-2 victory. Now heading into game three, I'll, I'll be honest, I kind of expect Northwood to keep it up. Oh, you know, this, my. this goal six seconds in kind of proves it. Man, powder out here, Caster Kirsten Butler <laughs> already. No faith, no faith. Six seconds <laughs> into this one. Hockey uh, reads this one perfectly right across the middle. A little bit more of an open net now. If it was me down there, maybe a little bit of a different story. But this is the CRL winners just from the previous semester. Easy peasy. They do those in their sleep. Looking for offenses. Butler, they need to get to it quickly. Can't do it. Buddy, just a little bit too late. Morale's there first, and Kai behind him to follow. Nothing in the tank, though. Does what he can to get around the defense. Now, Morale's in a little bit of a dribble. Keeps the offense going. Lion Blaze will take over. As Buddy next to him pushes it forward, but he can't catch up. Now it's behind hockey. Krig facing after him. A little bit too slow. The pass midfield Ooh. is perfectly Ooh. placed. Ooh. So is the shot. Butler ties. Fantastic stuff right there. 40 seconds into this one. Kai puts this up perfectly as everybody else knows the script. You go forth, you take out these defenders, and that's going to be the name of the game here for Morales Creek. And Kai, tied situation yet again. Now we were in basically the situation for four. Nope, just a little bit too high for Craig, but not for Morales. Nicely done. They spend, what, 30 seconds or so behind. Tie it up quickly. 12 seconds later. Stand, sitting pretty in the lead. I am loving the team play from Butler. They've been doing it all day, and Morales has been the one finishing them off, but it's all thanks to his teammates setting, setting him up. Both of the goals today off of fantastic passes from his teammates. Morales has been, again, the offensive leader for Butler, similar to how hockey has been for Northwood. Five goals for Morales in this series to this point. They'll be looking to continue that. He clearly seems to be the first man for Butler, and it's working out so far. Unfortunately, Lion Blaze, one of the best players in the world, will tie it up later, early in this game. Oh, so yeah, 2-2 right here. Northwoods only maintains that lead for, or excuse me, Butler only maintains that lead for just a little while, unfortunately. See how this one goes, 2-2. Higher scoring game than we saw in game one, obviously, but a little bit more standard for what we saw in game two. Butler back onto offense. A good challenge to keep it going. And another one to keep the offensive pressure on. Nobody there to follow it. Bump opening up space again. Butler seems to be going back. The offensive aggression and to clear up space. Worked out for a little bit of it. Not enough, though. Northwood dumps it back into their own half. But aggressive on this. Great. Looking for it on the side. Lion Blaze can't catch up. Giving it for hockey now. Shot low. Kai stops himself in time. Rails there. Can't get to it in time. And Buddy continues the offense as Lion Blaze looks for the shot. Now still keeping this one alive, Buddy. Every single time they get teed up for this are going to swing. That's going to be. Let's see. Buddy's first shot attempted. First goal inside. Everybody on the side of Northwoods. Hockey's got one. Lion Blaze has got one. Uh, back to their really even-handed fast starting ways. Butler needs to turn things around right now as Rell's given space around one. An open back wall to work with. Can he drop it down? He can. Kai taking the challenge. It's just too wide. A pass over towards the other side. No one can get up to it. Kai a successful challenge. Unfortunately for him, Lion Blaze was waiting for the boost. He uses it to his advantage to go over one. Rig down low. Hockey's waiting and places it in for a seventh goal of the series. Wow. So uh, that's going to be, again, more kind of along the script of what we expected. Two Butler players up top. The third just kind of gets left looking. Two score difference now, 10 seconds outside of halftime. But as we always say, uh, whatever the score difference is at halftime can be undone in that second half. Looking for more oh. offense is Butler. But they're struggling. Northwood building up that pressure more and more as this series goes on. Only halftime, they've already got the two-goal lead. One 
taken off the field. Aki can't get the challenge. He loses it to Butler. However, the Bulldogs are a little bit too slow. Ooh. Hockey looking for a back wall. Can he double? No, but Buddy is there to clean it up. The defense got too far out. Northwood takes advantage. Buddy, friend, acquaintance, whatever he is, is your best chance to continue to pick up these rebounds and continuously put in balls. This is Kai Morales and Krig. Now down by three, a little bit past halftime. Gonna be looking to, to stop this hemorrhaging bleeding. They gotta get to it right away because Northwood again on the offense. Kai takes the challenge and wins over hockey on the turn. Will take advantage and go up the back wall. Dribbling it out, has has Buddy to his left, lays it down towards him, find everybody, and Lion Blaze will just play it into the corner for safety. At this point, Northwood just happy to waste time as taking their time trying to break out. Morales to the other side. Off the ceiling, who gets the read first? It is Kai. Two on the back wall for Northwood. However, it still works out to their advantage. Hockey with yet another clear. Nice job. Morales now picking this one up across the middle. Buddy immediately stopping this one. I, I think the problem here is the defensive clears for the side of Butler. <clears throat> They're just simply not getting like big open clears into spaces where Northwood's other players are not. You know, the one player mm -hmm. puts up a shot. Other two are always going to be out there to rebound it on the other side. So at the end of the day, this is Northwood squad that just completely wrapped the field. And I really think that's why the defense or the uh, uh, demolitions, excuse me, were really paying off in that game number one. Right, you really have to be careful against Northwood. The rotations are going to be nearly perfect. And so, like you said, those demolitions really do open things up. It takes Northwood out of their usual rotations. They don't have the third man coming in to take any dump of a clear out. And with the lack of demolitions now and Northwood finding their way around demolitions, it's now allowed oh. Northwood to build up this offense that they keep putting on to the Bulldogs. Another one in the midfield. Morales will take advantage. Get past one. He can't beat out the last man with 30 seconds left. Well, there's going to be staring down the barrel of needing two games in a row to take this series. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at a Butler squad that didn't give this up at uh, even triple zeros last time, even with an insurmountable lead. That's what I would look at here. Take a goal, doggy bag, put it in the fridge, eat it later. As you move on to a map number four that will be a deciding factor score, or excuse me, match point right there this dropping down two six three five doesn't matter northwoods is one game number three butler needs to get back to how they were playing more in game one quickly whether that's getting out getting the first goal whether that's even more aggression even more demolitions they need to find a way to get back to that same style of gameplay because it caught northwood off guard they changed things up they didn't come out how opponents usually do and it allowed them to get that victory now Northwood has gotten, not comfortable, but I would say Northwood has gotten to a gameplay which they are comfortable with and which they can dominate with. Well, there needs to find a way to disrupt that. Otherwise, they're going to be looking at a game four and a series loss. Serious. I mean, like it's it's one of those situations where you have to have that memory of a goldfish here, Powder. Yes, mm -hmm. it was fantastic to have taken a game off of Northwoods, especially in overtime fashion. Take these two previous games, uh, score difference of four, score difference of three, relatively one-sided. Just put it in the past. Play the Rocket League here ahead of you, and don't focus on exactly like what beating a Northwoods squad here in week number five mm -hmm. would mean, both for like what you know how you, how your school or team whatever be viewed, as well as your record and whatnot. Even so, dropping a tune two uh, about halfway through the season now here for Nate Star League is really not that big a deal. But everything, my opinion wise, is revolving around what you were talking about earlier. Just simply interrupt this Northwoods plan. So many mm -hmm. times they're able to just like kind of impose their will on various teams and just continuously play their game play and our game plan, excuse me, and that's usually what leads to you know two sixes, two fives, things like this. Leads that are just simply insurmountable and with plenty of time left, Colin. Right, they gotta get back to something that's going to make Northwood uncomfortable. I think they really did a great job of that. They had multiple clears out from Northwood being maybe a little over aggressive, but it was still Butler finding those holes and taking advantage of them to find goals from. They gotta get back to it quick, otherwise Northwood going to be off to the races quickly like they are right now. Lion Blaze Ooh. the shot in time, but Morales there, buddy. Taking an aggressive challenge as Kai will dump it towards the corner. Hockey with a whiff. Need to take advantage. Oh! Craig does and bangs it in to open up game four. 
I'm trying to trying to remember the pass here. I know that Butler scored first game one. And I believe Butler scored first in game three, but obviously we see the differences right there. Now I'm not trying to theorycraft too much here, folks. 113 kilometer per hour shot right there to take a lead early, though, is not a bad look here for your Butler University Bulldogs. And a fantastic job for Butler to take advantage of a mistake, a rare mistake that Northwood makes, missing it on the back wall like that. Drake saw it, places it into the wide open net, gets the early lead. The look to continue. They do give the space towards Buddy. Up over one, looking for the back wall. Drops it down. Craig with plenty of time. Huh. Pumps it to the corner and behind hockey. Beats out Lion Blaze. That's everybody. It's a free net. Wow. Morales takes advantage to a lead Butler. Okay, so this is the largest lead that Butler has had in regular time. Uh, well, not just regular time, period. Overtime and regular time. Uh, an earlier mistake, like you said, from that Northwood squad off a backboard yields a goal. This one just as open net as it gets. It's a lot of pitch, a lot of real estate. Call it free. Northwood. I mean, not necessarily getting too comfortable with this series, but they are fi or they are leaving gaps on their defense. Uh, that Butler okay. <laughs> is not missing that one. Hockey able to get to just in time, <laughs> but it's something Northwood needs to clean up quick. It's just one of those things we don't come to expect from the squads like Northwood thus far. And it's not like the series is over by any means. Uh, mm. okay. I'm just going to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> This one, I mean, this one's tough if you're Butler because Morales, yes, he's caught awkward, but it's this turn. He needs to keep rotating back post. Yeah. But he sees that, places it directly behind him, off the post, and in. The deficit is cut in half for Northwood. Yeah, those are just a simple uh, kind of like analysis paralysis. You go, you know, if you cut to the outside to go for like a bigger rotation, then it's going to take longer. If you wait any amount of time. That uh, decision will be made for you. Double touch, but Morales actually doesn't make contact with the ball. Taken out of this one. Be spawning player right now. Morales comes back. Perfect timing to block this one away. Aya booming clear out. Lion Blaze looking for the read and gets it. Into the hands of Craig, but he loses control. Morales was the last one back. Kai caught up a little too far. Buddy oh. straight into the net. Banger will tie it up. Yeah, so a couple of mistakes from Northwoods, and they say, hey, we'll just take it aerially. A lot of aerial acrobatics, and what, maybe 60 seconds later, yields a no-score difference. Plenty of time still left in this one, but the lead that Butler enjoyed earlier is gone, is over with. Gone the way of the dodo here, Colin. Butler needs to get back to their offensive ways. Greg will try to do so, looking for the back wall. Hockey straight out towards Morales, but he reading it immediately and catches up in time. This is a behind Craig is now high around one as Morales in the midfield pass out to mm. him. Little bit of loose left in the tank. Morales can't get to it. Craig can. Everybody went up Whoa. for Northwood and Morales <laughs> okay. can backflip into the net, regains their lead. It's like all of this is weird, right? Buddy sends <laughs> us down and tries to put it down bottom and then Morales put, like jumps up to us like, wait, no, hang on, hang on. There's no other other players there. <laughs> but the angle is true. And Butler takes the lead yet again. 12 seconds outside of halftime in this map number four. Match point for Northwoods, but hey, looking, sitting pretty right now for Butler. Ooh, not the touch they want, though. Morales yeah. in time. Dangerous touch to put it off your back wall, but it was what was needed. They get the clear to midfield. Kai off the side as Craig takes over. Only into the hands of Lion Blaze. Gets it up the side into the air where he's so dangerous. Over one. Morales right into the hands of Buddy. Shot is wide. Hockey turned Whoa. back. Now Morales huh. over towards the other side. Lion Blaze to keep the pressure on into Craig's hands. Players out. Morales looking for the soft shot. Buddy off to the side again is now Butler looking to build up that offense to try to build up the lead back to two. Morales inside. Ooh. There's the lead. Score difference of two. Like Powder here was just saying. I, I think that Northwoods is kind of like cheated this up a little bit, almost assuming that they have like possession, mm -hmm. they have space to work with, and they have something to try and move this ball down pitch. This has just been a series of Butler kind of cut ins, shaking up the plans yet again has been the name of the game for Butler. They are feeding right now. Morales yet again, the finisher for Butler. A hat trick in this game, seven goals in this series, all set up by his teammates. And Morales again, eight on the board today, leading his team to a three goal lead against Northwood Lane. Okay, so one, 
you know, fantastic stuff, especially when you take a game by it. Two is like, all right, you know, dial up Geico, Progressive, State Farm, whatever you want to call it. That's the insurance goal. Three is, not, again, not something that I think I could have predicted talking about a team playing against Northwoods right now. Not just Butler, but basically anybody. But hey, like we said, play on the day, right, Powder? Play on the day. Right, and Butler has certainly done that. They have not shown any fear against this team. Can't get the shot as Hockey races in. I think he was cut off by a teammate. This allows Kai to get a clear out as Butler looking to maintain this lead and send us to an honestly unpredictable game five. <laughs> Lion Blaze might try to cut okay. into the lead and does. He dribbles it in, still giving him time to make the comeback. How interesting that it's mostly been either like incredibly like impressive and skillful aerial play or a ball that literally doesn't leave the ground for half of an entire pitch. Just straight up ground play, a little bit of dribble action. And with 73 seconds left, my question to you, Powder, is at what point does Butler kind of play the keep away game? I don't know if they're going to want to play the keep away game against Northwood, to be honest. I feel like that's something that Northwood is going to be able to read quickly. I feel like Butler needs to keep up the aggression, but not over aggression. They need to keep up the offense, mm -hmm. make but or make Northwood, excuse me, a little more uncomfortable as okay. Northwood <laughs> starting to get more comfortable themselves. One goal down with still plenty of time on the clock. Uh, yeah, so we already have nine scores on boards with about a, a minute left right here for reference. That was eight in game number two. And the last couple from Northwoods came uh, relatively later. I think we're in the docket for a, at least a couple more scores. Which side? Who knows? Not predicting that one, Powder. Northwoods struggling oh. to find the offense early. Hockey able to get the stop. Still be able to take over. Up and over Craig as well. Kai coming in to keep the offense on. The pressure necessary again from Butler. For Morales. Taken off the field. Aki upfield chasing. Gets another demo. Morales on a clear to the other side. Buddy though, has plenty of time. This is out the challenge. Northwood needs to get back to offense. They're struggling to though as Craig. Another one down. And Kai, another clear. Mm. Line plays left corner. Every time this ball hits the ceiling, uh -oh. we're talking about three or four seconds. Burned off. Does it matter? Buddy, right across the middle, perfect pass. I believe this is Lion Blaze, and it was as Craig, just a really, really weak hit. Lion Blaze per reads this perfectly off of the corner, and 12 seconds away from an OT. A three score difference gets burned away just like that. Who'd have guessed it? Northwood themselves going aggressive, able to get the bump on Morales, to open up the net. The challenge back the other way, favorable for Northwood. Can't get the shot. Kai able to cut it off. Uh, towards the other side, still up, but it will okay. fall. A game four overtime, Butler, their lives are on the line with this one. 11 total scores guaranteed for this game. Number four, the call comes down to this, a new lease on life, a game five situation purchase for Butler. And let's go ahead and pull this one away in 3-1 fashion, as that was, again, just li Lion Blaze and the rest of the Northwest players really just, like, like, like literally bumper to bumper right here, not covering hardly any of the pitch. They'd be really, really happy that Butler didn't put that one in early. Yeah, it was a very, I don't want to say free opportunity, but it certainly could have been an easy goal for Butler. They would have found the shot. We still go further into overtime as Butler able to get it out. Not for long, actually they do as Craig is able to push it towards the back wall. Hockey on the dribble. Successful challenge for Morales, Whoa. but he pays for it with his life out of the midfield. Line blaze. Taking off the field now, <laughs> buddy. Up into the mid. Going for it himself. Uh -oh. Kai with the stop. Lion Blaze coming in slowly off the side. Can he get it around Craig? He wins the challenge. No one home hockey in and Northwood steals the series. Passes, passes into points. We said that's how this game would be decided earlier. Northwood's on an absolute tear in the last, what was that? About two minutes, maybe 90 seconds or so right here. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Down 5-2. Comes roaring back, screaming back. Northwoods University does four score in a row. No seven years ago. It was a, you know, for hockey, I was going to point out that Buddy had actually tied him for leading or for leader of goals for Northwood in that series. But he had a surge in games two through four. But then hockey at the very end gets another one in overtime. The top shelf shot to win it. They win three games in a row. They actually went to two overtimes against Butler. Again, just something that we did not predict at all. I think both of us, maybe not necessarily an easy 3-0 sweep, 
with Northwood having swept their previous opponents, we really thought it was going to be a lot easier for Northwood, but Butler showed that they can go against the toughest. They did fall, but in a 3-1 fashion after taking that game one. Yeah, especially, like, <clears throat> I may have predicted a 3-1. I don't think I could have added, like, two overtimes in there yeah. as well. Like, <laughs> like I, I'm mad enough to say that. I don't, I don't think I could have uh, I could have predicted that one as far, right? Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. We will be looking at Nichols and Rochester College, or Rochester University, excuse me, coming up here in just a little bit. Short break in between. Powder, do we have anything else for the good people before we bid them adieu for just a little bit? We will have more occupants. 